hello guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to check another baseball video this one's called why mike troll is the most wasted talent in sport history so last time i checked uh, another baseball player who whose name i can't remember but he was japanese and they said like he's the greatest at least in world history in football in sport history i mean Maybe for as far as we know, because we don't know what happened back in the day. There was no cameras, no press, nothing to relate. And people used to go to wars, fight and die. And so that, that was something, some athleticism. Please, before we start, don't forget to leave a like, comment on what you want to see next, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thank you for the support. Let's get into it. Imagine for a second if LeBron James never played in the postseason. Gets it to LeBron for three for the win. Yes! LeBron James! What's the difference between the postseason and the Imagine if LeBron dominated the regular the season. season year in and year out, as he has for the better part of two decades now, but never got into the big dance because his teammates or his club's front office were so consistently inept. Imagine if the greatest player of his generation, arguably of all time, never got really? to burnish his legacy with indelible postseason moments and never got a chance to play for the big one. It's unfathomable, right? Well, it's happening in baseball. It's happening to Mike Trout. So Jordans are not only for basketball, they are for everyone. Even in baseball. One, two. This is out toward right field. Going back on his Tucker. He's watching it. Home go. run. Career home run number 300 for Mike Trout. And he's 300. The, the Angels home run leaderboard. That's a lot. By himself. There's really no comparable athlete when you consider Trout's production against his team's lack thereof. How about Detroit Lions legend Barry Sanders? who led the NFL in rushing four times and sits fourth on the all-time yards list. Don't know him. But Sanders made five playoff appearances over 10 seasons, though Detroit only had one postseason win to show for it. Or Hall of Famer and 15-time MLB All-Star Tony Gwynn, who spent his entire 20-year career playing for mostly bad Padres teams. However, Gwynn did appear in the World Series twice, losing both times. Maybe it's former NBA MVP, Hall of Famer, and 15-time All-Star Kevin Garnett, who languished in Minnesota for more than a decade and suffered seven straight first-round playoff exits. But again, KG got a ring with Boston in 08 and made another finals appearance in 2010. Yes, it's true that comparing baseball to other sports, and especially basketball, isn't exactly apples to apples. One superstar can't carry a team in baseball. Still, the extent Can to which they the in Los basketball? Angeles Angels have squandered Mike Trout's brilliance year after frustrating year is downright baffling. Trout isn't just the best player of his generation, after all. He might be the best player ever. No player ever accrued as much war through his age 27 season as Trout did. Not Ty Cobb, not Mickey Mantle, not Willie Mays, not Barry Bonds, not even Babe Ruth. King of Crash. Don't know any of them. Of and were it not for a literal pandemic, Trout almost certainly would have finished the 2020 campaign with more wins above replacement than every other player in history through age 28 as well. Already, Trout has racked up more war than Hall of Fame center fielders Duke Snyder and Andre Dawson, who played until they were 37 and 41, respectively. He's also lapped fellow Cooperstown inductees Reggie Jackson, Frank Thomas, and Rod Carew, as well as his own Hall of Fame-bound contemporaries like Derek Jeter and Miguel Cabrera. In just eight seasons as a full-time player, Trout finished either first or second in American League MVP voting seven times. And the Millville Meteor, yeah, that's his nickname, has three MVP awards on his mantle already. The I'm still waiting for the part where he, his uh, talent is wasted. Because it seems to me that he's doing pretty good so far. Same number as Joe DiMaggio, Stan Musial, and longtime teammate Albert Pujols. Only Barry Bonds, 
history's all-time home run king has more MVP awards than Trout. And had Trout not missed six weeks due to injury in 2017, the only year in which he wasn't the AL MVP or runner-up, he probably would have taken home the award that year too. He still led the majors in OPS that season, injury be damned, and he ultimately finished fourth in AL MVP voting. Yet despite Trout's unprecedented brilliance, the Angels have made the playoffs just once since Trout burst onto the scene nine years ago. In 2014, in the wake of a 78-84 and 84 season, Trout slugged the Angels to their first AL West division title in a half decade, propelling them to a 98-win campaign and earning his first MVP award for his 36 homer, 111 RBI, 939 OPS, 8.3 war effort. Kind of the most I've seen waiting for the wasted part of his career. Unfortunately, Los Angeles' World Series hopes lasted about 15 minutes. Despite leading the majors in wins that season, the Angels were no match for the plucky Kansas City Royals, who swept Trout and the Angels in three games in the American League Division Series en route to their first pennant in almost 20 years. And since then, the Angels have been a complete disaster. They finished third in their division in 2015 at 85 and 77, finishing one game back of the second wildcard spot, and haven't so much as sniffed a postseason spot since. The Angels have finished with a losing record in each of the last four seasons, and their 2020 okay. campaign has been nothing short of a debacle. Even with a new manager at the helm and a new superstar in tow, the Angels have been one of the worst teams in baseball this year, and they're currently on pace for their lowest winning percentage in franchise history. Wow. You lollygag your way down to first. You lollygag in and out of the dugout. Do you know what that makes you, Larry? Lollygaggers. Lollygaggers. Frankly, though, their failure to turn Trout's historically productive prime into postseason berths is as perplexing as it is frustrating. After all, the Angels consistently field one of the game's highest payroll. So hold on. Why is it his... Like, why do you like put all the blame on him and saying like he's the most wasted talent in sport history? I, I don't get it because it seems to me like if the team is losing, like you have more players in the other players in the team. And even though he may be the star of the team, but if the other players don't do their job, how does it work? Like, I don't get it. They're aggressive in free agency and on the trade market. And they've picked up plenty of big names in recent years to take the load off Trout. From Angleton Simmons to Justin Upton to Shohei Otani to, most recently, Anthony Rendon, the all-star third baseman whom they signed to a $245 million. Wait, this is the team who has the Japanese guy and there are still not to win? How? Because that guy was fire, man. All her contract in December. And yet, year after year, they stink. Something always goes wrong. And while superstar level talent gets squandered in every sport, the Angels seem to be in a league of their own in this regard. The Edmonton Oilers haven't lived up to expectations since Connor McDavid, their supposed savior, debuted five years ago. But they've still made the postseason twice during that span. The Milwaukee Bucks, meanwhile, haven't hoisted the Larry O.B. and Giannis Antetokounmpo's brilliant tenure with the club, but they're at least in contention every year, having waltzed into the play. I got a question, like, he, he brought up McDavid, and I know, like, many people are saying in my comments that he is one of the GOAT, if not the GOATs of his generation. So, how is, how is it a GOAT if his team is lagging, if they're not doing the work? And how many Stanley Cups does he have? the playoffs four seasons in a row and posting the best record in the NBA the last two seasons. But, you know, Contavious... Oh, oh my gosh. Say it with your chest, Giannis. The Angels, however, consistently struggle to play even 500 baseball while Trout assaults the record books year after year. You might even say that Trout is this generation's Ted Williams. The splendid splinter was one of the best hitters who ever lived. But his excellence was largely wasted by the Boston Red Sox, who won just one pennant throughout Williams' sensational 19-year Hall of Fame career. Fortunately for Los Angeles, at least, Trout isn't going anywhere anytime soon. 
Theoretically, the Angels will have plenty of time to build a winner around him after signing Trout to a 12-year, $426.5 million contract extension just to... Four hundred... For one player? No wonder why, like, the, the, the MLB is the most... Like, is the richest sports out there. This... I gotta be, I better get into baseball, man. How do you how do I get into baseball? I don't need 400 million. Just give me 10. How do I start playing football uh, baseball? Two winters ago, the largest guaranteed contract in the history of professional sports. Trout, however, wow. is less than a year away from his 30th birthday. And if the Angels want to capitalize on the prime of his career, they need to get it together fast. For now, the best baseball player on the planet continues to waste away in Anaheim, where he invariably watches the Division Series, let alone the World Series, from his couch every October. Simply put, no Oh, okay, okay, I get it now. So it's the team who's wasting his career, his talent. Because I was surprised because he said like the most wasted talent. And I thought maybe the guy did something like in football, you see that all the time. You see players like Ronaldinho, like Ronaldinho won everything. He won the, the, the World Cup, the Champions League, the Ballon d'Or and all of that. But if Ronaldinho had the work ethics of Cristiano or Messi, he would have been the greatest of all time. But he was partying and things like that. And he wasted his career. I think I thought it was something like this with this guy, but... Seems like Mike Trout is doing his job, but his team is his team is lagging. So, but he got he being the superstar of the team and having a contract of four hundred plus million dollars, you gotta do better, bro. If you're still here, please do not forget to leave a like. No, but like there are no likes on the videos. Please do leave a like, comment on what you wanna see next, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Until next time, your boys out.